Hey, it's Shane from GuyRom.com, and welcome to the ultimate guide to fixing low back pain. I want to start by telling you a little story about how I went from broken back to bulletproof back. But before I get into my personal story, I want to share with you a fun, well, horrifying statistic. According to scientific estimates, 80% of all Americans will have back pain at some point in their lives. Yeah, that's not good news. That means that 8 out of 10 people that you know will have a stiff, painful back at some point. But if these injuries are so common, you'd think we'd be pretty good at fixing them by now, right? After all, the establishment, the chiropractors and physical therapists and massage therapists of the world should have gotten it handled by now. Unfortunately, in my experience, that is usually not the case. Many therapies and treatments offer some symptom relief, but most are not comprehensive enough to get to the root cause. So most back pain and people's injuries continue to come back again and again. This was definitely the case for me. In 2011, I injured my back lifting weights in the gym. I was so broken that I couldn't put on my own socks and shoes for over a month. And in fact, I was having my girlfriend at the time do it for me. First back pain, but I was determined to make it my last. In my efforts to fix myself, I read and experimented with a wide variety of modalities. One of the best resources I found was a world leading spine expert and spine researcher named Stuart McGill. Dr. Stuart McGill is a spine biomechanics researcher at the University of Waterloo in Canada. Dr. McGill has dedicated his career to understanding how the spine functions and why back problems occur. In fact, he's released two books on the matter, Ultimate Back Fitness and Performance and Low Back Disorders. While Stu's books are considered some of the best in the field and I benefited from them greatly, I still found them missing something important. But before I tell you what was missing, I want to tell you what my big takeaways from the books were so you don't have to read 300 page books. My biggest takeaways from the book were most back pain approaches are incorrect or flawed. Core endurance and core intelligence is important for low back health. Hip mobility, surprisingly, is also critically important. Certain core exercises are actually very damaging to the back. Back injuries are rarely a death sentence or a lifelong ailment if you treat them correctly. The spine is least likely to get injured when it has an optimal alignment. Super stiffness is superior to drawing in or hollowing for spine stability. Each person's body has a tolerance for load, and if they go over that tolerance, they get hurt. Careful evaluation and programming for an athlete can injury-proof their lower back. Ultimate Back Fitness and Performance, for example, is very comprehensive, over 300 pages. And while it can be quite thorough, it might be a little too technical for the average reader. With that said, it's a great resource for people dealing with back pain, especially athletes. But as I mentioned, it was still missing one massive ingredient. And by the way, this ingredient is also missing from 99% of the physical therapy and chiropractic treatments for back pain that are available today. So what was that magic ingredient that fixed my back for good? The missing ingredient was targeted tissue work. I learned targeted tissue work from a hole-in-the-wall chiropractor named Phil Petachinko in Encinitas, California. Phil has over 35 plus years of hands-on experience helping people via deep muscle massage. Phil is a really unique man who only works two to three days a week, does several hours of body work on himself every week, and spends much of his time away on spiritual retreat. I actually think this introspection that he does on retreat, plus the hours of actually tinkering on his own body, is one of the reasons why he was the best healer that I ever met in my life. You see, most chiropractors and physical therapists and healers are teaching from a textbook, not from hours and hours of self-study and self-practice. And this self-learning makes all the difference. Oh, and by the way, for 35 years, Phil has had a fully booked practice, done zero advertising, and always has a super long waiting list. Why? Because he's the real deal. Phil taught me what real self-myofascial release is. These techniques were not the simple foam rolling I'd learned in my personal trainer courses or in my massage therapy classes. These techniques went much deeper. Phil literally gave me the tools and skills to remove my back pain instantly with pinpoint accuracy. After I started incorporating targeted tissue work to what I'd learned with Stu McGill, all the pieces of the puzzle started to fall in place. It was like I could see the matrix. I could see the entire picture for the first time in my life. How backs get hurt, what keeps them in pain, and how to fix them. I put all of these principles into my TSR system for fixing back pain in what I call the pillars of progress. The pillars of progress include tissue work, stretching, re-education, 
mindfulness, systems and rituals, which help you be consistent, training partners, which help you go deeper and keep you motivated, and one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentorship, which is kind of uh, like finding your own Yoda to help you in your back pain journey. Phil was my Yoda, and I also took what I learned from Stu McGill in his books, and each one of those lessons helped me to accelerate my results two, three, four, five, ten times. Here is specifically what I did. I started each back pain recovery session when I was in pain with targeted tissue work. I would use things like the body back buddy tool, and I would hook it up to a band attached to a pole. And I would use this kind of strange looking tool to do targeted tissue work every day or every other day on my lumbar spine muscles. But as I also learned from Stu McGill, it's not just about the low back muscles. Yes, this is the most precise and targeted and effective way of working on the low back muscles, but you also have to think about hip mobility and core stability. So to work on my hip mobility, I did specific stretching. In other words, I mobilized and stretched the various muscles and tissues that had become tight and overactive in my hips. For example, I stretched and rolled my hip flexors with barbells, kettlebells, and other tools. Tight hip flexors cause anterior pelvic tilt, which causes an overarched back, AKA hyperlordosis. This places extra strain on the spine during exercise and daily life. Once I freed up my hips with targeted tissue work and specific stretching, I moved on to intelligent strength training. Instead of the gung-ho max effort weightlifting that I'd been accustomed to, I started focusing on perfecting my movement patterns. Before adding more weight, I strengthened muscles that had become underactive or lazy. For example, the lower abdominals and the glutes help prevent anterior pelvic tilt by pulling the pelvis posteriorly. This helped my back feel better and my hips not to pinch or impinge. I made sure to keep a stiff core and a neutral spine whenever exercising or carrying heavy objects. You see, when the spine is under load, it is less stressed in a neutral position. That means when the vertebrae are aligned in a natural posture. With this braced neutral spine, I used my legs to pick something up. This is a safer, smarter way of approaching strength training. I spoke a little bit a while ago of these sleepy or underactive muscles and I referenced the glutes and core and told you that I did some glute and core reawakening exercises. By doing this, I improved the motor control and the endurance of my core and glutes. After my core and glutes were smarter and had better endurance, then I added strength. You see, low endurance leads to fatigue. Fatigue leads to weak muscles. When your core muscles are fatigued, you can't keep a straight back. Thus, your spine is more likely to become injured when put under stress. By being able to hold a plank, a side plank, and other core stability exercises, I was able to stabilize my spine and protect my back. I also adopted a strict, perfect technique policy. In other words, I recognized my limits and didn't abuse my body like I used to. Because after all, if you stress your body enough, it will grow and adapt. But if you stress it beyond that, it will become injured and sick. The same principle applies to your spine. Neither should you perform work that is too heavy or extreme, nor perform too little work. It's the Goldilocks principle, just enough. You should do just enough work that you don't do harm, but you get stronger at the same time. The last thing that I did is I moved more, AKA I just walked more and sat less. Sitting actually strains the spine more than gentle movement like walking. So basically sit less and your back will thank you. Walking also seems to be particularly beneficial in the fact that it acts as gentle exercise for your spine. Whenever my back was acting up, I'd walk around the block a couple times, maybe even walk up to a mile, and usually that motion, that lotion, made my back feel a lot better. So in a nutshell, there's actually three critical steps that you can use to fix your back pain at any time. Step one, restore tissue quality with targeted tissue work. Step two, improve range of motion with stretching. And step three is build strength and motor control with re-education, AKA the TSR system, tissue work, stretching, re-education. I'm happy to say that since 2011, my back pain has never returned. Having been so fragile at one point that even bending over the sink to brush my teeth was excruciating, I can't tell you how much relief I now feel. When I was 26 and in pain every day, having my girlfriend put on my socks and shoes, I thought my life was over. Now, 12 years later and feeling great, I know that life is just getting started for me. I actually never thought it was possible to be 12 years older and stronger, more flexible and pain-free. 
But as they say, the proof's in the pudding. Every day I run, jump, stretch, and lift heavy weights pain-free. And I want that for you too. You can fix back pain. The secret is the TSR system that's already helping over 20,000 people around the world. This video is just a little bit of the evidence and experience-based theory behind the TSR system. If you want a complete program to fix back pain for good, I have something called the 45-Day Athlete's Back Program at gotrom.com. In that program, I walk you step-by-step step through all the exercises, all the tissue work, all the stretching, all the strengthening that you need to fix your back pain and keep it off forever. So I look forward to seeing you in the program. If you want an exclusive discount on that program available on this page only, check out the link below this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the program.